Can you talk about um, you know how much fun or whether or, or how grueling it was to make a movie in Puerto Rico as opposed to other parts of the country? Uh, it was grueling for several reasons. A, the weather uh, it was unpredictable. It would rain at the drop of a hat, which would then make the days go longer. Uh, uh, we did have a lot of physically demanding moments in the in the movie. We were in the jungle, so there it was like almost at times it seemed like all the odds of Mother Earth were against us at all times. Uh, but uh, it was fantastic. Uh, with that said, it was one of the best experiences I've ever had on a movie. I made great friends, and we had a ball in Puerto Rico. Ed, when we were on set, was that you guys, or, or a bunch of you guys, were going to do a big stunt of a 120-foot uh, tower? Or is that just him? I, I, I heard that when you guys came to set, too. And I was like, what is this? What is this? Uh, apparently, Jeffrey's character did have to jump off quite a quite a high dive. Uh, but, but again, our stuntmen were fantastic. Uh, and, and ridiculous, insane. And, uh, and they actually did it, man. But luckily, we were safe in our trailers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I know you've been to Comic-Con and events like this a number of times before. Have you ever come? I have. I have. And, and how does WonderCon compare? Like, what was the crowd like up there? Bills, somebody said, made the wrong comment that, oh, it's not going to be too many people out there. Don't worry. We walk out there, and it's like, OK. Yeah. I, I was expecting a much smaller crowd compared to Comic-Con. It's just as big. That, that room is huge. Um, and it's, it, they're just as enthusiastic. They're all, I mean, anyone who says this is like the little sister at a Comic-Con, they're wrong. But so when you go out there, do you get nervous? Or is it? Yes. Yes, Captain America, everybody knows. People are really excited. But I don't think ever, I've covered this business for a long time, that a casting story was in the media as much as that. It was like almost surreal. Was that that sort of experience for you, like going online or reading in the LA Times that like different people were up for a role that you're up, was that bizarre? I, I try and stay away from all that. That's, 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 it's almost none of my business. It's, 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 uh, it's a slippery slope when you start yeah. reading that stuff. It, it starts to, I have enough trouble doing press and you know, you, you, you end up, you end up living in your own head a lot more than you'd like to and you start reading that stuff and you could, it, it, it's 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 a, it's a dangerous game to play. So for the most part, I tried to stay out of it. And of course, the most important question I know you're, you're getting this all the time: Will you go blonde for Steve Rogers? I don't know. It's up to them. I, I, I have no, no idea. idea. I mean, literally, it's, this, this this just happened. So I, I haven't even you know I haven't talked to anybody. So I have no idea. Well, cool, guys. I had a great time when I was there on the set. Thanks so much.